Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the past 10 years, the continuous development of China's science and technology has achieved great results. That is, during this period of time, batches of outstanding enterprises have emerged in China. When the United States saw the rise of these companies, it felt that its position had been shaken. Therefore, the United States revised the chip bill, and at the same time united with its allies Japan and the Netherlands to sanction China. In fact, during this period of time, Chinese companies were most constrained by Huawei, especially Huawei's advanced 5G technology, which was sanctioned by the Americans on the grounds of security. Then the United States began to restrict China in terms of chips. So domestic chips are facing a situation of being monopolized. Looking at Chinese companies in the chip field, SMIC is a little bit famous in the world. Prior to this, SMIC was sanctioned by the Americans in order to hit the high-end market. As an ally of the United States, the Netherlands also began to refuse to send lithography machine technology to SMIC, which means that the problems faced by SMIC at that time were very serious. Even under international constraints, SMIC has not given up on research and development, and has been responding to the country's call to continuously improve its own technology. After several years of hard work, SMIC has made great breakthroughs and has a leading position. At this time, with the efforts of SMIC, China's chip manufacturing industry can achieve self-sufficiency. The demand for consumer electronics, such as smartphones and computers, is declining, and consumers are not very interested in purchasing these devices. As a result, the shipments of various high-end chips of U.S. companies have plummeted, affecting the profits of financial reports. But mature chips are in strong demand. Mature chips from industries such as smart cars, the Internet of Things, and edge computing are in great demand, and chip manufacturing can be completed using mature processes, such as 28 nanometers. On this point, SMIC has a showdown and has deployed four fabs in China. Most people have a prejudice against the chip manufacturing process, thinking that the lower the manufacturing process, the better. It is best to use 5 nanometers, 3 nanometers, or even more advanced chips, so that the performance of terminal equipment can be guaranteed. In fact, the chip manufacturing process depends on the actual application field. It is not to say that the more high-end process is adopted, the maximum value can be exerted. Just like a smart home appliance, is it necessary to use a high-end process of 5 nanometers or below? Not only will it cause excess performance, but it will also increase unnecessary costs. Therefore, in the corresponding field, the chip manufacturing process that meets the needs is sufficient. The 28 nanometers process is sufficient to meet more than 80% of the demand. Therefore, in the field of 28 nanometers process, it is a market with strong demand. With the development and progress of industries such as smart cars and the Internet of Things, the demand for such chips will continue to grow. Demand for high-end chips fell, while demand for mature chips rose. TSMC has ignored the importance of mature chips, and most of its production expansion actions have focused on high-end manufacturing processes investing hundreds of billions of dollars. When TSMC realized that the demand for mature chips was strong, 
it was too late to think about the layout. Because manufacturers on the market are vigorously developing the mature chip market, for example, SMIC has built four fabs in China with a production capacity of 340,000 wafers. According to the plan announced by SMIC, the four fabs are located in Beijing, Shenzhen, Shanghai and Shenzhen respectively. Among them, the investment in the project in Beijing is 7.6 billion US dollars and the monthly production capacity is 100,000 pieces. The planned production capacity of the factory in Shenzhen is 40,000 pieces per month. The planned monthly production capacity of the Shanghai and Tianjin factories is 100,000 wafers each, both of which are 12-inch wafer fabs, focusing on the 28 nanometers process. SMIC admits that these factory project plans are expected to be completed and put into operation in the next few years. At present, some projects have completed the factory capping and some are still in the early stage with different progress. But it is good for grasping production capacity. Although the mature chip manufacturing process is not as good as high-end chips, the demand accounts for a larger proportion. This is a vast market, and SMIC can participate in it with its capabilities. As long as there is enough production capacity, it will be more advantageous to win orders from market customers. However, some people have noticed that ASML's DUV lithography machine may usher in a change in shipping rules. Because ASML revealed that the United States, Japan and the Netherlands have reached an agreement on the lithography system. If the agreement is really reached, will it affect SMIC's access to the lithography machine? In this regard, ASML stated that it will take time for the agreement to take effect, and it is not expected to have an impact on performance expectations in 2023. Therefore, ASML continues to take orders before the agreement comes into force, and there is still time to provide products to customers. It is not ruled out that ASML may be able to take advantage of the trend to sell products, so that customers can place orders quickly, otherwise, after passing this village, there will be no such store. However, the customer's choice still needs to be combined with the commercial layout. Currently, SMIC has four fab projects under construction, and it is estimated that there is indeed a need to step up procurement. SMIC increased capital expenditures from $5 billion to $6.6 .6 billion. It is estimated that a lot of capital expenditure is in preparation for the purchase of lithography machines. Only by ensuring the supply of equipment can the factory be built smoothly. So in terms of production capacity competition, how much advantage does SMIC have? You must know that although TSMC focuses on the layout of high-end chips and uses most of the wafers in 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and other process processes, TSMC has a huge production capacity of mature chips. TSMC's total production capacity in 2021 will reach 14 million 12-inch wafers, equivalent to a monthly production of 1.16 million wafers. Calculated based on the fact that each 12-inch wafer can cut 400 pieces, that is, a monthly output of 4.6 billion chips, an annual output of 460 million chips, and an annual output of 5.5 billion chips. This is a very large scale of production capacity, and TSMC's production capacity is fully ahead. Of course, 
The actual capacity data may vary, but it is undeniable that TSMC's fabs do bring huge capacity advantages. However, if it is divided according to the production capacity of mature chips, TSMC does not have much layout. Because TSMC's 28 nanometers production capacity is mainly maintained by the Nanjing factory, the monthly production capacity after the expansion is only 100,000 pieces. Many fabs in the hands of SMIC can reach this level. But in terms of the degree of expansion, SMIC has a greater advantage in production capacity. Therefore, before everything is settled, TSMC may not be able to lock in the victory, and we look forward to SMIC's future performance.